What's up guys and welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're already a part of the Amanda Marie family, welcome back. Thank you guys for coming over and watching another perfume video with me. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my favorite cheapies, okay? More affordable fragrances if you don't like to use the word cheap. Those of you that are new to the channel, I don't want you guys to get the impression that in order to smell good, you have to spend a lot of money because girl that is not the case okay i am a true believer that there are some really banging affordable scents out there people will never know okay people will never know that you're wearing a cheapy or an affordable fragrance because truth of it is if it smells good it smells good you know what i'm saying who are we fooling so yeah a lot of times i will shop at tj maxx i will shop at marshall's i love to hit up the discount uh websites like fragrance eggs fragrance net um what are the other ones fragrance buy I love to hit those up. I think there is one too called Crystal uh, Fragrances or something like that. I will find that and put it down in the description below. So there are a lot of places where you can find some affordable fragrances. I also encourage you guys to go to like individual perfume shops, you know. Uh, some places in the mall, you know, they have the little kiosks. So I have bought from fragrances from a kiosk in the mall as well. There's also places like I want to say perfume, perfumery, perfumera. Is it called perfumerama? Some, you know, y'all know them little spots that I'm talking about. A lot of times, you can actually go in there and find some affordable designer fragrances. I love to go to the little mom and pop shop that I call it here close to my house where I live. I've built a um, relationship with them and oftentimes I go in there and I find some really good affordable fragrances. So it's just a matter of you kind of, you know, getting out there, doing your research and all that good stuff. But I am so not against an affordable fragrance. Hell, I literally built my collection on affordable fragrances girl you know i love a good deal honey because i really don't like to pay full price if i don't have to pay full price i want to share with you guys some really great affordable fragrances so if you're interested stay tuned i'll be the first to tell you honey i'm not the biggest fan of celebrity scents sometimes to me they come off smelling a little generic um and things like that they sometimes also come off to me as smelling the same like each other so because of that i'm very 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 picky in particular about the celebrity scents that i buy but i will tell you and if y'all want me to do i haven't really done an updated celebrity fragrance video i'll do that i'll do a video showing you guys some of my newest uh celebrity scents or some celebrity scents that i really think are amazing okay but i have two here that i want to share with you guys and i'm not really going to go too much into detail with the notes and things like that because i don't want the video to be too long but i will tell you a lot of the girls in the fragrance community was talking about Miss Sophia Vergara. I know that she has two. She has Sophia and then she has another one. I can't think of the name of that fragrance. But I had heard so much about Sophia that I really wanted to try it. And I got this fragrance probably less than $30, okay? Super, super affordable. And you guys, this is actually a beautiful scent, okay? Now this fragrance, reminds me a lot a lot of coco mademoiselle i'm even almost inclined to say it is like a dupe almost i don't really want to say it's a dupe but it's giving me dupe vibes okay for real instantly when i smell this fragrance i pick up on that coco mademoiselle the only difference between coco mademoiselle and sophia 
I think Sophia is a little bit more fruitier in my opinion, whereas Coco Mademoiselle is more of like a earthiness. It, to me, it has an earthiness to it. Some woody notes or some patchouli or something like that in the base of Coco Mademoiselle. This one is definitely fruitier, okay? In the opening, it does have a slight little hint of something bright, which could be bergamot or maybe something uh, citrusy, maybe mandarin or something like that in the opening. In the base, I feel like I do get a little bit of patchouli, not that much, something earthy, something woody. So if you are a fan of Coco Mademoiselle, you will really enjoy this fragrance. If you love a sweet, a uh, fruity floral type of scent you will enjoy this fragrance as well and i really i think this is great for every day i think this is great for office it's actually one of the better celebrity scents that i've smelled in a long time it has a very nice elegance about it it's very feminine okay so and very pretty so i would really really urge you to you know put your nose on this one especially if you're a fan of coco mademoiselle okay so this is sophia by sophia vigera this next scent i actually looked up and found this big ass bottle at marshall's one day but i feel like i saw this same size bottle on amazon for nine dollars i got this one in marshall's for nine dollars and it is huge i couldn't believe it was nine dollars like another fragrance i heard the girls talking about um in the fragrance community you know it was affordable and at the time i didn't really feel like spending a lot of money on fragrances but you know i still wanted something that smelled really good this is adam levine's fragrance okay i think it's called adam by Adam Levine, okay? So let's just do a little spray here. I will tell you this fragrance, in my opinion, is probably gonna be more for um, fall and winter, but it, it has this sweet, boozy smell to it, okay? Something almost like, maybe it has like a little bit of a, a cognac in it or a brandy or something like that, some type of liqueur. It probably doesn't, but that is the vibe that it gives me. It gives me a sweet, boozy, liqueur type of smell, you know? It's very sexy as well. Not over the top sexy, but it does give me a sexy vibe. And I will tell you, I'm really, 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 really shocked when I first smelled this fragrance. It was a total blind buy. And again, you know, I'm real picky on celebrity scents. I was totally taken aback by this scent. I didn't think that I would enjoy the scent as much as I do. I have kind of contemplated on selling it on Macari because I don't grab for it that much, which I don't know why because it's actually a nice scent. But I said, no, I'm going to keep it around for days when, you know, I just want to spray something that's easy, like an easy grab. This is beautiful. This is like a fragrance I would grab when I don't have to think about what fragrance I want to wear for the day. I know that it's going to smell amazing and it's going to smell sweet, feminine, cozy, comforting, gorgeous, and that is what I get from this fragrance. Adam Levine is sexy. I don't know if y'all know who Adam Levine is. He's the lead singer in Maroon 5. I just love his whole vibe. He's just really like edgy and sexy and this fragrance pretty much embodies that image of him you know and he made it for a woman and i was like let's see what adam is giving you know what i'm saying because a lot of men think they know but they really don't know but adam knows adam knows what he's doing this is a really really good scent again you can get this one off of amazon i want to say you can get a bottle this size off of amazon for like nine dollars if you're lucky you'll run across this fragrance in marshall tj maxx Funny thing of it is, I saw this fragrance in Macy's too, and I was really surprised. And they were like literally letting it go for pennies, okay? I would highly recommend this 10 out of 10, okay? Adam Levine. Kind of was struggling whether to put this, these fragrances in a designer category or a celebrity category. So that's kind of why I'm talking about them last because I feel like they're both. They're celebrities and they are designers because they do, from my understanding, have their own fashion brand, okay? 
but you guys when these fragrances came out back in the day i cannot remember when they hit the scene probably in like mm, somewhere in like 2013 2015 they were in sephora i loved every last single release from them except for maybe the white i don't think i care for the white but i definitely enjoyed all the other offerings that they gave us okay and i'm talking about elizabeth and james you know this is i'm gonna just tell y'all this is one like a fragrance house that i hated to see go fragrances were amazing the vibe that they gave off the bottles are really cute they give off class they give off like you know sophistication it looks like you know this bottle is gonna run me about a hundred dollars and i think at the time their fragrances in, in sephora were kind of like low 90s 100 something like that and i just hated to see these fragrances leave sephora so i've been on the hunt okay i've literally been on the hunt for these fragrances when i saw people in the community talking about the fragrances and they picked them up at marshall's tj maxx i was like what the hell none of my marshall's none of my tj maxx had any elizabeth and james but here lately I am finding Elizabeth and James. So the one I have in my hand right now is Rose from Elizabeth and James. And the other one I have here is Bourbon from Elizabeth and James. This one I found at TJ Maxx for like $19. And this one I actually bought off of Fragrance X. Okay, and I wanna say, unfortunately, I think I spent maybe about almost $50 for it. It's a 1.7 but i still feel like it was worth it rose you guys oh my god this is a beautiful i want to say kind of like a it's not a bright rosy scent this would definitely be more of a sensual sexy earthy woody rose a little bit of a mature red rose but it does have this spiciness to it this woodiness this earthy type of feel and this is the type of rose that i usually go for i don't really care for the foo-foo i always say that the foo-foo girly girly bright heady rose scents i like for my rose fragrances to have a little bit of oomph in them this is the kind of rose that i probably would wear more fall and winter in my opinion this is not like a springtime summer rose scent. Like if you're gonna be out at brunch. I mean, I, now that I'm smelling it, let me think. I guess it could be, but if I was gonna do like a rose scent for like brunch or daytime, I would probably go for more of the uh, Chloe type of rose, you know? This one I would wear at night in the summertime, like a sexy rose summer scent i think i could pull that off girl baby i was so happy when i ran across this in tj maxx for 19 dollars. like i should have bought both of them i think there were two i should have picked up both i love this scent rose from elizabeth and james amazing scent like i'm literally determined to buy all of the collection like i need a full-size bottle of uh black and then i need a full-size bottle of gray I think it's called Nirvana Gray. This is Nirvana Bourbon. Y'all, this was a blind buy for me. This is a blind buy. But baby, when I tell you, oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. I love this scent. It's a sweet, warm, spicy vanilla bourbon scent, okay? If you like fragrances like um, Valentino, Donna Born in Roma Valentino, if you like that sweet, creamy, bourbon, vanilla scent, you will enjoy this one. Oh, this is gorgeous. Like, I just want to spray a little bit on me now because, oh, it smells amazing. I can pick up on a little bit of spice. I can pick up on that sweet vanilla the bourbon, all of that is coming through. And who knows? See, that's the, that's the thing. When you're buying from discount sites, you don't really know how long they've had the actual perfume 
And yes, with anything, perfume can get old. It can expire like anything else, especially when you buy a new perfume. As soon as you spray that sprayer, you know, like a couple of times, you got to get a couple of pumps. What's happening is you're letting air into that bottle and thus starting the aging process of your fragrance. So when that happens, there are a few multiple things that you have to do to preserve your fragrance, like keeping it in a dark environment. All of my fragrances, like this room is blacked out. You know what I'm saying? The only thing light that I really have in here are my uh, big boom lights and my ring light and these little lights here, but they do not give off any heat, okay? I said all that to say because the fragrance still smells amazing, okay? It's a little bit of a chance that you take when you're dealing with discount sites. You don't know how they're storing their fragrances. You don't know how old the fragrance is. And I mean, that's kind of like one of my fears, but I can tell you this fragrance smells like it was just released yesterday. It smells amazing and I'm so happy that I have it. I would wear this one probably uh, early fall, winter, you know, because it's so cozy, so comforting. It just gives you those vibes, you know. Highly, highly recommend get your nose on this. If you and I share the same taste and fragrance, you probably will like Bourbon, Nirvana Bourbon by Elizabeth and James. If you like scents like Angel Share, you'll like this fragrance. If you like scents like Mercedes Benz Club Black, you will like this fragrance. If you like fragrances like Vanilla 28, you will like this fragrance, okay? Love this one. And now we're gonna get into some designer. And I have a bunch of designer. All of this section here is designer. But we're talking about affordable designers. So let me start with my favorite affordable designer scent. I have put a many of you guys onto this scent. This is Versace Woman, okay? Beautiful spring, summer scent. It reminds me of a beautiful, sexy woman who, you know, she's into her femininity. Like she know what she got, she knows what she working with, and she's not afraid to show it off to the world. What I love most in this fragrance is the frangipani. The frangipani gives this fragrance something sweet, a little bit exotic, you know, a little fruity. It's giving me those vibes, but there is something very magnetizing about this scent. I will tell you, I have bought multiple bottles over the years of this fragrance and it has not disappointed me yet. You have it, comment down below. Let the girls know. One um, subscriber messaged me, well, she put in the comments that she wore this in a grocery store and a man was literally following her around the store. That is the vibe, okay? That is what this fragrance is giving, okay? It is very, very sexy. Every time I see it in Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I'm inclined to pick up another bottle because it's not gonna be there. If I leave it and try to go back, it's not gonna be there. I feel like I need at least two backup bottles of this fragrance. And I feel like you can get this at, if you can find it, Marshalls and TJ Maxx. This bottle, I think this is the 3.4. This is, yeah, I think this is the biggest bottle. You can probably find this one at TJ Maxx or Marshalls for probably like $29.99. I think it's totally worth it. This bottle is gonna last you forever. Well, depending on how, how, how fast you spray or how fast you go through it because it's that type of scent. Easy grab, feminine, gorgeous, sweet, fruity, floral with that frangipani. It's just an amazing scent. I love it to death. Versace woman. This is a scent that I've had and I want to say I've had this particular bottle for a little bit now but I've had maybe two bottles prior to this one and this is a gorgeous scent. This is Hannah More, okay. This, I couldn't get enough of this back in the day. In this one you get strawberry, blackberry, blueberry, black currant. In the middle you get lang lang, jasmine, rose, peony, in the base, you get sandalwood, almond tree, Brazilian rosewood, and cedar. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. As you can see, I am halfway through the bottle. 
Um, this is a very feminine type of scent to me. I love to wear this to work. It makes a great date night scent. This is actually one of those scents that you could literally wear all year round. It just has that feel to it. I feel like you can't go wrong with this scent, honestly. Like it just, it's a beauty and it performs so well. Longevity is amazing, okay? To me, I get a good seven hour, eight hour wear. The projection, not so much. It doesn't really project that much to me. I think after about four hours, it turns into a skin scent for me. You can find it on Amazon for the low. All the discount sites, if you're lucky, you can find it in TJ Maxx and Marshalls. But honey, I'm telling you, once they put this one on the shelf, it doesn't stay there very long. So good luck. I would highly recommend you get this scent. If you're building up your perfume collection, this is one that I would recommend that you start with because it is a classic, okay? A classic scent. Hannah More. Now this is one that I picked up sometime this year. This is Mercedes-Benz Club Black and it was love at first spray. One thing I do hate is the bottle. I'm not even gonna lie. It's so hard to spray especially when you have nails on oh my god it's so hard i had i can't even put my nail in there to spray it but besides the bottle i think the bottle is obnoxious but the smell the fragrance is amazing another beautiful sweet vanilla boozy type of scent now this is targeted for men but ladies i will tell you guys can rock this okay it reminds me of angel share quite a bit because it has this thick syrupy sweet boozy uh essence to the fragrance i want to say i spent less than 50 dollars for this maybe 40. If you're thinking about getting dad something for uh father's day and you want to get him a fragrance he will love this scent very classy this is amazing this is really, really amazing. I would say it's very, very unisex, okay? It does open up with something a little uh, citrusy in the top. I don't know if that's like lemon or bergamot, but it's a citrus note. One of my favorite vanilla scents, Mercedes-Benz Club Black. You guys, if you've not gotten into Middle Eastern fragrances, I would highly, highly urge you to do so. A lot of times you will find that these Middle Eastern scents are really kind of like dupes for some of the high-end fragrances that we already love. This is Amber Oud Tobacco Edition from Al Haraman, okay? Now when you go search for these fragrances, please, please, please be careful. Make sure you read and pay attention because the bottles do all kind of look the same with this particular lineup but this is a dupe for tom ford's tobacco vinyl okay if you are building a collection are you the type of person that you can't even phantom or imagine spending upward of 200 dollars on a fragrance but you love tobacco vinyl this is going to be for you when i tell you i have a decant of tobacco vinyl. I bought the Tom Ford Travel Sprayer and I've compared these two and honey, they are, this is spot on. This one will probably cost you around 50. You could probably find it for 50, 55, somewhere in that area. You get a sweet, boozy uh, vanilla scent and in addition you get this amazing tobacco smell. It's not smoky. It is. It smells like a cigar before you light it up. And that's what this is giving. A beautiful, cozy, vanilla tobacco scent. And you get the tobacco right away. Like the tobacco is undeniable in this scent. Mixed in with that sweet vanilla, beautiful. I would urge you to check out some Middle Eastern fragrances. There are a lot of videos on YouTube that you can click to find Middle Eastern dupes. But I have a few other Middle Eastern dupes that remind me a lot of Baccarat. I didn't want to talk about that. I think I have a video about my Baccarat dupes. I can't remember. But if you guys want me to do an updated video on the Baccarat dupes, comment down below and I'll get that out for y'all. 
but this is a beautiful beautiful scent i love it i might even prefer this one over the tom ford original fragrance just a little bit i think tom ford has the beat on uh the longevity but the smell spot on like they hit it on the nail amber oud tobacco edition by al haraman you guys have probably noticed that i haven't been putting my amazon links next to the fragrance is because um amazon has switched up uh the links uh for influencers and stuff like that but i guarantee you if you go down and click my Amazon link and go to fragrances, you will see all the fragrances that I'm talking about in this video. So go click the link. If you're an Amazon shopper, you'll be able to get most of these fragrances off of Amazon, okay? Let's talk about dupes or clone houses, okay? One clone house that I do have quite a bit of is Dossier. They make some amazing dupes or clones or smell-alikes. That's what I like to call them. This particular one that I have in my hand is called Floriental Marshmallow. This is their version of Love by Killian and this is spot on this is a spot on dupe for love right i mean they killed it they killed it they killed it with this one beautiful scent you pick up on that marshmallow you pick up on that um, orange blossom you pick up on the vanilla this is beautiful they do have the notes written here on the bottle Bergamot, Neroli, Honeysuckle, Jasmine, Oris, Amber, Vanilla, Musk. There is a link down below in my description box. And I have a code for you guys where you can save 10% on a fragrance, okay? But yeah, I like this. I like Dossier and I think they're in Walmart now. I've not looked for them in Walmart, but from my understanding, they are now in Walmart. But I think they make some really, really nice dupes okay if you want to smell like those high-end fragrances that we love try dossier there's some other dupe houses that i would recommend to you guys as well what i want to do though is buy them before i start talking about them i want to make sure that it's worthy to introduce to you guys last but not least let's talk about some affordable niche are indie brands okay now this is one indie brand that i really do enjoy i love his fragrances on top of that he's an amazing person i've done a live with him he's so sweet he's so nice he's just very personable and down to earth you know i love when i get a chance to meet the perfumers behind fragrances and turns out that they're actually really nice people that love that okay i'm talking about the italian faro he makes one of my favorite gourmand fra fragrances ever in life yes this fragrance is probably like 29.99 okay it is called room 129 it just takes me back to my childhood oh my god it smells like a cherry cool cup it's always this one lady that would sell cool cups and candy pickles and all kinds of stuff out of her house and this just reminds me when I used to like beg my mama for like 50 cent or a dollar so I could go get me a cool cup y'all know and then we used to put like the pickle in the cool cup okay comment below y'all did that this is a beautiful sweet creamy vanilla cherry scent oh it's gorgeous cherry is really big right now everybody's kind of talking about cherry and stuff like that this by far by far is one of the best cherry fragrances i've ever smelled in my whole entire life you need this in your collection asap and it's affordable on top of that i always say like i hope he never discontinues this fragrance because it's just the best. I go real slow with this fragrance because I don't, I can run through this whole bottle, okay? I need my backup bottle here before I just rip into this bottle. I will put his link down in the description, okay? The Talia Faro, okay? He's also on Instagram and the fragrance is called 
room 129 honey last but not least this is a new um indie brand that i was introduced to and i'm absolutely in love with their fragrances this is rhyolite from happy land okay there's notes of honey there's notes of blueberry <sighs> this fragrance is absolutely gorgeous this i had got a decant from a friend of mine in the fragrance community and it was a love at first sniff i needed it in my life i needed it in my collection and I bought a bottle of it. This is 30 ml, one ounce. I wanna say I spent like $45 on the one ounce. It's so worth the money, you guys. And his samples, he gives you five ml samples for literally $7 a piece. Like, who does that? The next fragrance I wanna get from this house is called Paisley Dreams. Oh my God, I can't wait to get it and introduce it to y'all. Try out your indie brands. There's some really amazing indie brands out there. There's another indie brand that I like. It's called City Rhythms. They're actually um, based in Houston. Makes amazing sense. The one that I love is Manhattan. So check out, I'll put a link of his information too in the description, but yeah. Rhyolite by Happy Land, amazing scent. You guys will love it. If you like um, that fragrance Soul Cafe from Save Our Fair, you will like this scent. That is all my affordable fragrances that I love. I hope that you guys um, enjoy this video. If you have any of these fragrances, comment down below. If you have any affordable uh, cheapies that you wanna share with us, comment down below i might want to check it out okay if you're into fragrances i would love for you to subscribe to the channel i want to send a big shout out to all my new subscribers thank you guys so much i see y'all i see y'all it warms my heart hit the thumbs up button you guys when y'all hit the thumbs up button it lets me know that you're enjoying my content and i love that it just gives me more motiv motivation to push and work harder for y'all and bring you some really good videos so hit the thumbs up button all right thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're having a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next video Mwah. bye